Now coming to pulse pressure variation. What is pulse pressure? Pulse pressure is nothing but the difference between the systolic and the diastolic pressure. If the systolic is 120 and the diastolic is 80, the pulse pressure is normally around 40 millimeter of mercury. That is the normal pulse pressure. What do you do here is you measure the maximum pulse pressure. This is the maximum pulse pressure. You measure the minimum pulse pressure. Difference, you take the maximum pulse pressure, you take the minimum pulse pressure and you also have a reference pulse pressure. So, your pulse pressure variation is nothing but pulse pressure maximum minus pulse pressure minimum divided by the mean pulse pressure. If the pulse pressure variation is greater than 30 percent, it discriminates responders from non-responders of fluid challenge. Now coming to systolic pressure variation. You measure the peak systolic pressure or delta half. Here the delta half is nothing but the inspiratory increase in systolic pressure due to increase in left ventricular stroke volume. Then you measure the delta down, which is the expiratory decrease in left ventricular stroke volume due to inspiratory decrease in right ventricular stroke volume, which is reflected later. And you measure the maximum systolic pressure and you measure the minimum systolic pressure and you measure the mean systolic pressure and you calculate the systolic pressure variation. Systolic pressure variation and even more the delta down are the more sensitive parameter for qualitative but not quantitative prediction of response to volume infusion. And what is very important here is it does not applicable to spontaneously breathing patient. The patient has to be mechanically ventilated. And in normally, the systolic pressure variation in normal volume of patient is around 60 percent and it is around 30 to 25 percent. The systolic blood pressure variation can be greater than 10 millimeter of mercury. But if hypovolemia is there, more than 70 percent will have a greater systolic pressure variation and around 30 percent will have less than 10 millimeter of mercury variation. Hypovolemia at least need three of this five criteria. Your pulmonary artery occlusion pressure is less than 5 millimeter of mercury. Your CVP is low, less than 5. There is tachycardia, peripheral constriction and urine output is less than 0.5 ml per kilogram per hour. Now coming to hypervolemia, here more than 80 percent have less than 10 millimeter of mercury of systolic pressure variation and 20 percent will have greater than 10 millimeter of variation although they are hypervolemic. It requires at least three of this six criteria. Your pulmonary artery occlusion pressure is higher. It is around 15 millimeter of mercury. The CVP is between 15 to 20 millimeter of mercury. There is pulmonary edema on x-ray, RAL suppression, S3 gallop rhythm and there is cardiomegaly on chest x-ray. Now coming to the most important variable, your stroke volume variation. The stroke volume which is the area under the curve in the arterial line which is establishing the stroke volume. You take the maximum stroke volume, you take the minimum stroke volume and the mean stroke volume. The variation is established by subtracting the minimum from the maximum and dividing it by mean. And here this is the inspiratory limb and this is the expiratory limb and here you can see the stroke volume being higher in the inspiration and in expiration the stroke volume being lower. Stroke volume variation greater than 10 percent indicates fluid responsiveness. Mm -hmm.